Welcome back to the channel, guys. We have had so much happen in the last month. I know we really haven't been posting much. A few videos ago, Chris and I kind of like alluded to the fact that we were going through some stuff. Um, basically, we moved. We had to find a place in a very short amount of time. Uh, the market, market in South Florida for housing is absolutely insane. A lot of people are in the same boat as us. So unfortunately, we had like a month to find a place for us and the animals. Um, so more about that later. I adopted my dream bird today. It's something I've been talking about doing for the last five years and today my dream came true. So I want to introduce everybody to Jellybean. <laughs> now Jellybean is a two year old Kiel build toucan. My dream bird. Uh, I am so excited to have him and just learn more about him and his behavior. Uh, Chris just got home from work and we've had um, an exciting last few hours with him, which we'll talk about a little later. His nails are extremely sharp, so you can check out my, uh, my arms gracious. right there. He bites very hard. Uh, beautiful bird, unfortunately had a very sad start to life. So he's two years old for the first year, maybe even over a year. Um, there was a couple that had him, uh, two guys owned him and they were not very nice to him. They actually cut his wings, which is horrific to do for, I mean, I don't agree with cutting any bird's wings, but especially a bird like a toucan, they are completely opposite of parrots. They don't climb, they don't use their feet to climb, they hop and they fly. So this poor guy really doesn't fly very well. Luckily it grew out, um, his wings grew out a little bit. They look almost like normal to me now. So they would also keep him in a parrot cage, a very small cage, and literally grab him like a chicken to move him from place to place. They would manhandle him. So really sad situation. So a loving family were actually able to get him away from those people. They had him for about, I believe, six, seven months. And they actually reached out to me five months ago asking if Chris and I would be interested in adopting him. They just wanted him to have more space, uh, somebody with more time. And it was just bad timing, of course, because we were moving and we had a lot up in the air, uh, but it all worked out. And today is the day, my dream bird. <laughs> So I don't have a whole lot of toucan experience, but I do have a decent amount of hornbill experience. And they are similar, he's a lot bigger, but they have similar dietary needs. Uh, they both suffer from hematomacrosis, which is iron storage in the liver. So they have to be on the Missouri uh, low iron pellets um, and low iron fruits and things like that. So in the wild, they eat fruits. They're also little predators, they'll eat lizards. There's some horrific videos of them eating baby birds, literally pulling them out of the nest. It's Pretty horrific. Uh, for the first year of his life, he was also being fed only papaya. And a lot of people think that papaya is like the best food for toucans. They should only eat papaya. But more recently, research, research is showing that it's high in vitamin C, which also can lead to hematomacrosis. Sorry, that is a mouthful to say. I hope you guys understand me. Um, so we're definitely going to get him on a uh, better diet. And um, he really loves blueberries. Loves blueberries. Look at this paper. He poops so much. I can't believe it. That's all blueberry splat. Within like a couple of hours. Yeah, we've had them for about five hours now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to change the paper daily. But take a look at this cage that I got him. That is absolutely beautiful. It's 10 feet long, five feet wide, six feet high. Chris still unfortunately can't fit in it. He's gonna have to crouch I down. I still have to bend it's over. It's perfect for me. <laughs> so yeah. He's got all these nice perches. We should show Zazu's cage. We haven't showed like basically anything. Uh, also, if you guys hear things in the background, we had to bring the tortoises and some of the other birds inside. Um, there was a tornado warning today in Broward County. So it's been raining all day. I have Petrie inside. Take a look at this awesome custom cage that we got for Zazu. This is from customcages.com. We were extremely lucky. We actually got this second hand. Um, a gentleman had it before. He had a squirrel monkey in it. The squirrel monkey unfortunately attacked his wife, put her in the hospital. So he rehomed the monkey and was selling this. And we got it secondhand. So I absolutely love custom cages. I've been trying to get one for a long time. So now I have one and Zazu loves it and it's just so aesthetically pleasing. Um, we're still working on his cage. We've only been in his house for two weeks, so there's still lots to do. 
So I've seen a lot of toucans in the wild, but I've never really interacted with one, right? So this has been really cool. He's absolutely beautiful. Um, but when I first met him, man, he bit the crap out of me, okay? So apparently, uh, like Gabby was saying, he doesn't have the best history with men. He seems to really like Gabby, and he is not sure about me. And so it's been a little touch and go, and he bites really, really hard. Um, and yeah, I just look at that bill. Okay, so I'm gonna see if he'll step up for me right now. We'll see if he'll come over. You wanna come here? You wanna come up? Yeah? Those are happy noises. Yeah? He's checking you out. Yeah? No, maybe not. You come here? Yeah? Hey. Good boy, Jelly good boy. Bee. He doesn't know his name yet. His name actually is Zazu, but obviously that's Zazu, and we can't have two Zazus. Um, and it's been a dream of mine. Don't ask why to name a toucan Jelly Bean for the last five years. So now I finally have. My and he did bite bean. me. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So hopefully with some time and effort, I'll get him to actually like me and uh, not be so afraid of me. But. Man, does he bite hard. There you go. What a sweet boy. Now, you may be watching this video and thinking, oh my God, I need to go out right now and buy a toucan. Uh, please don't do that. These guys are not good pets. They shouldn't even be in captivity in the first place. I almost feel a little guilty for keeping bird uh, like this. They just need so much space. We already talked about the specific diet. Oh, that's pretty hard. You wanna go back? We're gonna put him back, let's see. Okay. I had his cage open just to see if he wanted to like hang out a little bit or come explore. You want a blueberry? Want to go back? So because his wings were cut, he's not too sure of himself uh, about flying. There you go. That was pretty good. So he kind of just like, you know, hops around. And... Want a blueberry? What do you think? There you go. That's a good boy. But he has let me touch him, which is really cool. And uh, I've got to see his like snuggly side. Take a look at that serrated beak. <laughs> that, is a, that is a serious, serious beak. Come here, jelly bean. You want a blueberry? You want a blueberry? Yeah, I'll give that to you right there. So let's get back to why these are not pets. They poop everywhere. They have a very specific diet. Uh, they and themselves are expensive birds. Everything that they need is expensive. The caging, the food. I mean, dragon fruit is like $5 for a dragon fruit like that. And he already went through an entire pack of blueberries. So they eat a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and the vet bills too. We have a vet appointment for him on Thursday. I'm expecting at least $400. He's never been to a vet before. So of course I wanna have him um, just checked out. There's no way to test for uh, iron storage disease unless you do a biopsy of the liver, which is not practical. So the best way to prevent that or the best way to make sure he doesn't have it is prevention by feeding him the low iron diet. But uh, I do want to get him just checked out. He looks pretty good. His beak looks really good. The family that got him from the bad situation put a lot of time and effort into him, um, just trying to make him trust people again. And we still have a, a quite a ways to go, but I am already so happy with his progress. Hi, buddy. You know, what do you have, huh? You trying to show me that? Is that cool? Yeah? Oof. You see, I got my hand a fist just so he couldn't grab my finger, and so he just like thumped me so hard right there. Are you still bleeding from before? Oh, I mean, yeah, that little one right there. I mean, that was just like, like he's doing what Zazu does right now. He grabbed a piece and he's bringing it over to show it to me, and he wants me to kind of play with him. That's what Zazu does, so that's why I kind of put my hand up like that, but... I learned from earlier to keep my hand as a fist, because before I was like, oh, it's like Zazu, and I put my finger in. Yeah, he, man. He bit so hard. So that's why I'm trying to interact with him with a fist so he can't exactly get a hold of my finger. Are you on a blueberry? Yeah, there that you was go. gentle. That was gentle. That was yeah. very good. Holding the blueberry is scary though. <laughs> <laughs> you have to expose your fingers. <laughs> But um, yeah, so we're gonna be sharing a lot about this guy, trying to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, not just the fun times, but the not so fun times of dealing with an animal like this because they are so beautiful, but we wanna give you the reality that 
I mean, look at the floor already. Okay, <laughs> you know that kind of uh, that part of it, and then you know again the planning and the training, that kind of a thing. So in other exciting news, I mean, there's so much going on. We moved. We have a toucan, and the other super exciting news is that now we are a nonprofit. We are a registered 501c3 nonprofit entity, which is so exciting. You're looking at the president of Florida's Wildest Animal Rescue yeah. and the vice president. <laughs> <laughs> So we're really, really excited about it. So now we can actually accept donations for our rescue animals. Because if you watch in our other videos, uh, you might notice I'm very specific in the verbiage that I use. Or people are like, well, I wanna send you a donation. And before I used to say, I can't accept a donation because we're not a nonprofit yet. You can tip me, that's what I always say. You can tip me, you can you know, send me a tip, but I would not accept a donation. So we try to be very clear about that verbiage. Now that we have it registered so we can do everything right, have the money done right. Um, but speaking of that, we can't accept donation yet because we literally just got the paper like yesterday and we haven't uh, exactly figured it out yet. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't even have a bank account yet. So yeah. we're going to be doing that this week. We're going to go set up a bank account Yeah, uh, and then we will start figuring out how to accept donations. It's been a process. People yeah. think making a nonprofit is easy. It is not. And we actually hired somebody to help us with all the paperwork and it was still extremely confusing. So if any of our subscribers out there run nonprofit, have any experience with this, feel free to like shoot us a DM, uh, email Chris, you know, shoot yeah. us a, a message on Instagram. Yeah, we're, we're brand new to this, so it's going to be a process to figure it out. But we're really glad we did it because we have been spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of our own personal money on running our animal rescue efforts, you know? And if you watch our videos, you see that's our life. I mean, our house is filled with rescue animals and we pour our own personal money into saving and, and taking care of these animals. And alligators and the cockatoo at the gas station that we were trying to catch for a month. It's just been Yeah, crazy. it's a lot of resources going in. And a lot of people have reached out wanting to help us and fund our rescue efforts. But again, I felt very uncomfortable about accepting that. like. Because, you know, we're, we weren't, we didn't have it set up properly. And, you know, the last thing I want to do is be seen as one of these fake rescues because there's a ton of them. On that note, be careful who you donate to because there are many people who ask for donations who are not actual rescues. I think that's an important point to make too, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so that's why we finally got this thing working out properly. And as we progress, we'll, you know, we'll share more of that too. And speaking of support and help, we want to say a huge thank you to our patrons that are helping us out on Patreon. And uh, they helped us. Oh my God, that hurts so bad. I think he was just playing with you. I think he was just playing with you. <gasps> Holy crap, that hurt. I don't know, oh, I'm wearing a long sleeve too underneath this. Oh, even with all that padding, dude, that hurt. I don't know if I can. Show that. Your yeah. muscles are too big. My, yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make it past that to get to the show. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> he's coming back for more now. <laughs> it's back to our patrons. We are very, very, very uh, thankful to our patrons. And because of those supporting us on Patreon, that's how we afforded this enclosure for him and Zazu's new enclosure as well. So thank you so much. I would just want to give a huge shout out by name to a couple of our patrons. Brick Brit has literally been uh, a patron since we started. Same with Laura Wilcox and Marna Cox. She's awesome too. She just went up a tier. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for everybody who has even pledged for a month or two, like anything helps. Um, your support means the world to us. The fact that we're able to share uh, our life with the animals, you know, our lives together. Uh, we had so many people that love like Cinder and Petunia. Today's actually Petunia's two year rescue anniversary date. Oh yeah. We would not be able to do this without your love and support. So again, thank you guys so much. All right guys, so we hope you enjoyed seeing our new addition to the family. There you go. Oh, that was nice and gentle, look at him. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hit like, leave a comment, let us know what you think about him. Definitely share the video, we greatly appreciate that. And we'll see you on the next one.